Should the Lions bench Jared Goff? Let's talk Lions. Welcome back to an all-new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you all for hanging out. Also, huge shout out to all of you supporting me via Patreon. I appreciate it. So, Monday of this week, I had the pleasure of hanging out with Herman Moore over on his show, More After the Game. It was phenomenal. In fact, Herman Moore is going to be coming on this show here at Let's Talk Lions Wednesday next week, October 27th, 5.30 p.m live so come hang out with us you guys can get some questions in we'll answer them the legend herman moore here on the show it's going to be a blast so i had the opportunity the privilege to be on herman moore's show via the app lions nation unite go check it out go download it it is very specifically created and tailored for lions fans with lions content creators on there like myself dosa dion ton of other people and through it, I actually got to meet up with Herman Moore, and we started discussing the benching of Goff. And initially, I think I was very emotional coming off that Monday or that Sunday game into Monday, and I was like, man, if we have to bench Goff in order to inspire him, let's do it. And then listening to Herman Moore discuss and talk about what that would do to the locker room, it really opened my eyes to a whole different element that I just didn't understand because I never played. It wasn't playing in the NFL So here's what Herman had to say about it. Very useful insight, being able to look into the locker room through the lens of a former player. Check it out. You're ready to open up a whole nother can, brother. (laughs) There you go. You you start wanting to pull. You want to start pulling somebody, man. It's going to get that one right there. See, here's the other one that happens, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. You pull your quarterback. Even if you set him for a game, you set him for a quarter, you just try and do whatever because you're just trying to see some other things. The first thing people say, you know what? coach has lost confidence in the player sure the coach has given up on the season you know it's you know it will come yeah so right here either you're rebuilding either you're trying to get better every week either you're you're implementing the foundation protocol and plan and you're 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 measuring it by how how well you do week to week to week to week and the wins and losses you need them you want them the fans deserve them the players deserve them but there are different Yeah, As we call in the business world, there are different KPIs that they're looking at to determine the success of this football team. And hearing what Herman Moore had to say about it really was illuminating from a player standpoint, from the standpoint of a guy who was in an NFL locker room. Everywhere you turn right now, every Detroit sports show that's talking about the Lions or articles, it's all bench golf, bench golf, bench golf, bench golf, yes or no. And quite frankly, it's a little annoying and maybe even a little bit ludicrous before you jump down my throat in the comment section the reason i see it as such is simply because of what the impact the direct impact will be on the locker room immediately it will unhinge everything i really think that would be the straw that breaks the camel's back this year first year of a rebuild build whatever you want to call it this season it would be the straw that breaks the camel's back really what good will benching golf do because for those of you that are in the camp of well let's just tank which i am not but for those that are in the tanking scenario the the tanking category quite frankly if golf isn't getting it done i mean leave him in there see if we can actually make something out of golf because if you're still losing games you're still losing games you're still going to get that draft pick that you want entering David Blau isn't going to do anything different if Goff isn't able to get it done. So if you're in the tanking category, really, what good is that going to do? And if you're in the category where you're like, well, I I just want to win. I just want to win. Well, I think Jared Goff still gives us the better advantage of winning than backup David Blau. Now, listen, I like Blau. Blau is a nice guy, a great dude, great backup to have. However, I remember Thanksgiving uh, of the year that Stafford broke his back and it will not be better than what Goff is doing and then there's the camp of people that say well what about Cam Newton he's a free agent guys I think the difficulty here is and and it's a difficulty that has lasted for 57 60 years at this point is uh (laughs) the trusting the process and saying bringing in a Cam Newton is not trusting the process that has been laid before us it's not trusting brad holmes it's not trusting dan campbell and if you're sitting here and you're like well i don't trust them ah, that's your own that's your own decision that's fine but for somebody who is trusting the process 
bringing in Cam Newton isn't going to do anything for us in that regard. It's not going to get us to the place that we want to go. If Campbell comes out here and benches Goff this week or next week, any week in this first season as head coach, it will speak volumes, volumes of indecisiveness, lack of trust, and really all that has been established so far this offseason henceforth is null and void. Listen to me, I'm not defending Goff's play because it has been bad. Shoot, it's been terrible. T-E-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-